I'm Dina Mukwan and I'm 51 years old. I have my own house and my own farm and I have provided for my 10 children all by myself since my husband left me. He went away to work in the city and I haven't seen him for nine years. It has been a very hard struggle, but I'm happy now. There are many women like me. We are wives, but we feel like widows because our husbands are away. Men used to build the houses for their families and they made sure there was enough food. But now, all they care about is money and all they talk about is sugar cane. There are tractors everywhere. Ever since the sugar factory was built, they've been trying to persuade people to grow sugar cane on their land. Kwanza, kama nilivyo sema hapo mbele ni mahali pengine hapa chini. Migwa ni mahali. Migwa ni nini? Ni mahali. Migwa kama watu wale ambao wamekuisha panga. Hii kitu. Unaona hii? Ukipanda na ulimbe miwa yako vizuri ile umasikini itatoka kwako. Muna muziku muzima ni kuhama hama. Kwa sababu ya nini? Mvua. Ya mvua ina leak ndani ya nyumba. Inaingia ndani. Lakini mukipata. Si pesa siku hizi kununua sukari si lazima hii kitu huko huko. <coughs> eh? Kwa hivyo pesa ikiingia chakula yenu hapa itakuwa sawa sawa. Unakula sawa sawa na unapata nguvu ya kwenda kulima kupanda miwa Almost every farmer signed a contract with the factory and the tractors were sent to plow their land that very same day I was lucky but most women had no choice It's the husband who decides because the land belongs to him and she belongs to him The women just had to watch and say nothing while the tractors plowed over their maize fields. After the tractors had gone, that was when the real work started. We didn't realize that sugar cane will need so much weeding. It has to be weeded five times before it's harvested. And weeding is a woman's duty. The men help sometimes. But it's the woman who feels ashamed if the farm is not weeded properly. Teams of men were sent from the factory to harvest all the cane in the village. These men work for the sugar factory, like the men who drove the tractors that plowed our land. They get paid for doing this work, but the women, no one pays us for doing the weeding. Very soon the women harvested the last of the maize, while all the sugar cane went to the new factory.
Today I've come to collect the money for the cane I planted on my land. There are so many men here, but only one or two women. I'm here because my farm belongs to me and not to my husband. It is registered in my name. Uh. But usually it is the man who owns the land and the man who gets paid for the sugar cane. When men have money in their pockets, all they want to do is drink beer. Drink beer and go with prostitutes and give the prostitutes money so they can buy clothes and jewels to make themselves even more beautiful. There are some good husbands, but most of them just forget about their wives waiting at home. The male stores soon began to run low, just as the women knew they would. But when they asked their husbands for money to buy food and for school fees for the children, they found the sugar cane money had already been spent. The men would not listen to our complaints, so we decided to go to the chief. <laughs> Wakati huu tuna, tunataka kukata shauri ya kwamba tukilima miwa tutawaja eka mbili au eka tatu ya vyakula vya kienyeji. Muna kubali? Yeah. Na pili ya kwamba muzee akifata cheki atakaa na family yake wapange mipango na ya, 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 ya hiyo pesa ili izitumie kwa njia nzuri. Muna kubali na hiyo? The men agreed but we could tell they were angry. We went home thinking we had solved our problem. We were wrong. 
the sugar factory was stronger than we were and stronger than the chief and the next year the tractors were back.